In this video, I managed to get an A for my French assessment by playing Minecraft? So basically, my next French assessment was telling me that I had to make a vlog of me walking around the city, along the beaches, next to the river, speaking in French about why Australia was a good place to go as a travel destination. And I thought to myself, hmm, well I'm a professional at not going outside, literally ever. So I asked my teacher a simple question, really, and I didn't think I would get the answer I wanted, either way. Um, yeah, could I do this in Minecraft? And you know what she said? Oh yeah, that sounds amazing. If you think you could get it to work, then yeah, sure, go for it. What? Wait, that worked. What? Huh? So I write out a 600 word script in French, going into detail what there is to do and see in my country. If I'm going to make a Minecraft video, even if it's French, I'm going to make it well. Then I had to plan where to film the different sections of my script, and here is where I discovered a, a small problem. I am not building a whole ass city in Minecraft over the span of five days. I ain't got time for that bro, what do you mean? And that's when I realised, oh wait, servers exist. So I hopped onto Tubnet and what do you know, it's a giant metropolitan city with moving cars, beaches and parks. Gotta love non-consensual collaboration. After finishing filming using MCC Island and my three year survival world as well as Tubnet and all that, it was on to the editing process. And now because of the fascist level restrictions on these school laptops, my only option to record my video footage was Xbox Game Bar, in which all of the video in all of the footage is delayed like a second. So you gotta love IT departments. So I used DaVinci for the editing because I knew my way around it and I'd edited a lot of videos on there that have turned out really well. So surely nothing could go wrong this time, right? After a couple days of editing, it was done. I had finished editing the video and it was actually pretty good. The audio quality was all mostly decent. The video and audio were completely in sync there was lots of little images and infographics to show you about Australia. And the French actually sounded like French, so that's a huge W as far as I'm concerned. Now all that was left was Presentation Day, where my work would be the first ever Minecraft video to be marked in an actual assessment for my grades. And the audio f***ing corrupted. <laughs> I kid you not, everything else was fine and working. But because I had condensed the video editing section into a timeline and then added an outro outside of the original timeline, the audio began bugging out and rubber banding like a high pinged Minecraft player. Trust me, I know what that's like. So I'd spent all that time and all this preparation, even hyping up the video in class, for it to blow up in my face the morning of the due date. So I only had one option. I had to play the video on mute on the big screen behind me and read out the script in my hands, trying to remain in sync with the footage. It wasn't the worst thing in the world and I mostly got marked on my pronunciation anyway, which was pretty good compared to most people in the class. And I, but I was distraught, I was so mad, I'd spent all this time making a nice Minecraft video for this thing, for this assessment, and it blew up in my face. But you know what? Ultimately, all that effort did eventually pay off, because I got myself an 87%, and in Australia's books, that's an A-plus for me, baby. Eventually, I fixed the video with a few less images of Australian tourist sites, because I just could not be bothered. So here are the highlights of that video. If you want the translation of these highlights, it'll be in the description. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the reel. Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Cétia. Et bienvenue à ma vidéo. Aujourd'hui, je parlerai de beau pays qu'est l'Australie et pourquoi c'est une destination de rêve pour les touristes françaises. C'est à ne pas manquer. L'Outback est un endroit interminable et désolé. Et c'est très varié. Il y a des déserts, des forêts clésemées et des broussailles avec de la terre rouge. Il est très rare de trouver un petit point d'eau, alors si vous pouviez en trouver un, vous trouveriez certains animaux quand ils viennent s'abreuver, comme les kangourous, les diables connus, les wombats, les kidneys et les aigles. 
mais faites très attention au crocodile, car il s'y chasse. Je vous recommanderai d'y aller, pourtant faites attention, car il faut apporter l'équipement nécessaire. Je vous recommanderai d'acheter un chapeau mot australien comme souvenir. C'est iconique et élégant. Mais soyez prévenus, ici nous conduisons à gauche de la route, alors faites attention aux voitures! Exmouth. Moi, je crois que Exmouth est le meilleur endroit sur la côte ouest, grâce au mauvais naturel inoubliable. Ce qui est incontournable à Exmouth, c'est la plongée avec tuba sur la plage et les guides touristiques. On peut voir les coraux exotiques et les géants aquatiques les plus connus, les Bellan requins. Bien que l'Australie soit loin, ça vaut vraiment la peine de venir. C'est une destination de rêve pour les touristes français avec un plein de merveilles uniques qu'on ne trouve nulle part ailleurs dans le monde. Alors, qu'est-ce que vous attendez? Rejoignez-nous ici, en Australie.